Hey guys, check out my new toys. So this is a MPP solar charge controller and inverter all in one together. And I am not familiar with MPP solar stuff like uh, some of the other YouTube channels. So I thought I may just give it a try on my uh, new setup on my other house, my parent house. Gonna put up a bunch more solar panel on that house and go with a completely off-grid system. So it will be a brand new uh, system. So I decided to keep things simple. I'm gonna try out uh, these uh, MPP um, solar charge controller inverters. Unfortunately, they don't uh, make a 48 volt um, inverter charge controller that can handle the split phase for the US. Um, so they only their brand new inverter is the uh, split phase they do offer that but it's only available for the 24 volt and it's they're not sure when they're gonna have a 48 volt version and then I strictly only want a 48 volt or above I don't want a 24 volt system just because of the battery issue so I'm planning to run my uh, Chevy volt the uh, Gen 2 which is a 16 cells uh, battery so I'll go into detail uh, more about that later but uh, this is the uh, the 5848 MG so this series is a, a little bit different um, it has some pretty cool little features that I like uh, I haven't done much research into it they have so many different models and so many options but this is the only one that will do 48 volt uh, and ha has the ability to parallels and also can uh, PV inputs can go up to 450 volt so that's the reason the, that's the few reason why I decided to go with this model so we take a look at the brochure that they have here and again it's the PIP the one I got is the MG so it said that you can parallel up to nine unit and the these the battery it can go up to 66 volt that's the reason part of the reason why I want to do that I want to get this one is because I want to use the 16 cell Chevy volt uh, module so fully charged it will be you know 67 volt however I think I'll just charge it to like 3.9 volt per cell uh, which is like 64 volt or so 64 65 volt or I can even charge it lower you know 3.8 something that's fine I'll just have a bigger bank the good thing is that the PV input it can do up to 450 volt PV input. Now, one crazy thing I saw it advertised is that it can be a batteryless uh, system. It's, so it said it can operate operation without battery connected. Supposedly, um, they told me that you can use the grid and solar and not connect it to a battery and this is the first inverter and charge controller setup that I've seen that actually advertise that so I'm gonna try that and see how that work uh, but at the same time I'm a little bit skeptic and scared that it might back feed the grid uh, so I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll try it out and let you know so basically here is the 5048 MG is the top model and it's a continuous output 5,000 watts uh, parallel ready up to nine unit battery less operation and this is the only one that is capable of doing battery less operation and I've not seen any other inverter that advertised this so I'm very interested to see how that actually work or how well it will work would it backfeed the grids any uh, any small amount? Um, who knows? So I will sure to let you guys know about that. See, now the other thing is that 
this is strictly 230 volts so it's not split phase but my plan is to only run my um, uh, HVAC air conditioner at the other house so it will strictly run that air conditioner which used 240 so 230 it's going to be fine uh, the other thing run is probably it's going to run the the range and then I will install another mini split air conditioner another 220 volt mini split air conditioner in my garage for my workspace so I'm gonna just gonna go planning to use you know pretty much 230 volts anyway and the rest of that house will still be on the grid so I'm not gonna bother with those that's why I decided to go with this inverter because because of that and because it doesn't have the split face so it doesn't have the uh, transformer so it's extremely light and small so I think it only weighs like probably less than 30 pounds so it's very light and small and you have charge controller 80 amps charge controller in here and then 5000 watts inverter so it's pretty amazing so I'll try it out and uh, like I said new toys so once I get that setup going uh, I'll make a you know continuous update video alright thanks for watching I'll keep you guys updated